That's it. And then I do this. I transpose this minus 12. And then I have a bass. It sounds like this. As some of you know, we're making a new Blaze of Stone album right now and... I want to show a little bit about how we're doing things behind the scenes, like uh, for example how we're arranging the songs, how we're recording things, um, all that shit. But I'm a bit indecisive how much I want to show yet. So I want to try to show things that could be interesting, that does not spoil too much. And for example, um, I could. this video will be just showing my own personal little... Um, Pre-production uh, studio, so to speak. Well, it's my home studio. Who cares? What are you called? I will do some claps here <coughs> to sync these videos easier with the transients. So, guitar. I can talk more about that later. But it has the Everture Bridge. That's the most important thing. Um, guitar. And um, so, the interface that I'm using both here and in the rehearsal is... The Behringer X32 rack, and uh, for those that don't know, that's a mixer. It's live. It, it's it's uh, it's mainly used as a live mixer, um, and it usually comes in a big format with the faders and shit. But uh, this one has uh, ah, <laughs> the, the the cable management here <laughs> is a bit lackluster, so uh, to to say the least. Um, but uh, it does its tricks. You can see. Blah, 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 I'm talking, and then if I turn off the guitar. All that goes into into this camera here. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Anyway, uh, what I want to say, yeah, I'm using this interface because it has many inputs and because uh, I can use the same drivers uh, at home. And when I go to the rehearsal, I have another one of these in our in-ear monitoring system rack, so that whenever I go between her with my computer, I don't have to change any any drivers here in Cubase. I can just Connect it there and connect it here and everything is ready to go. But I have the settings different than them. Uh, except, for example, the the, the guitars coming uh, to channel 40. So, so let's let's go here through what I'm actually doing with... Um, uh, how I'm setting up my guitar um, signal chain, so to speak. Because I'm using um, kind of a hybrid... Thing. Everything is digital, I don't use any tube shit, but it's a hybrid. And that is, from my guitar, this cable goes into this radial dia box that I have fastened under here. It's a bit loose, so uh, that's not great. I, I guess it's a bit dark, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a radial dia box here. And this one splits the signal. One thing, one XLR cable goes into channel 14 here. And that is a DI track. Uh, that's the DI track, and uh, this cable is splitting out into my GSP one one zero one. I don't know even I don't even know how to say that. It did detect all the thing from two thousand and seven. It sounds pretty good. It is it it has some uh, recently updated things like IR supported shit. So what I'm doing is I split it out there, and this one goes with the stereo two cables into a stereo here. On is it eleven and twelve? Yeah. So if I'm playing this now, you can hear the stereo uh, delay. Yeah, and that, and that's just for monitoring purposes. Uh, I don't actually record this thing. I only have this uh, running in the mixer for monitoring, just so I can, um, just so I can uh, hear what I'm playing. And the cool thing is that that is latency. F Latency free is a bit of a ex exaggeration, maybe, uh, because well, everything digital has a little bit of a delay because every, the mixer and the and the amp itself they're all digital, so they have a little computer chips and shit, and those needs to convert the audio into digital and everything. Uh, but it's fast enough. I don't I don't really notice any like noticeable. <laughs> Okay, it sounds nice to me, uh, good enough, and uh, and then what I'm doing here is in Cubase here from uh, Mono in fourteen, which is if if you if you looked here, Mono in fourteen, this, 
That goes into here. So if I monitor this now. Yeah. That's a uh, guitar channel right there. So. Um, yeah, and then I have a rhythm guitar, rhythm guitar, left, right. Then I have some lead guitars. I usually have four of them. Because I like to make extra an extra octave or some harmonies or whatever. And the bass here. Here comes the cool part. The bass is actually just... Let's record this. This part here is a reject, so this will never end up on an album or anything. Uh, but uh, I will record uh, the bass here with my guitar. That's it. And then I do this. I transpose this minus twelve, and then I have a bass. It sounds like this. It sounds like shit, but in the in the in the in the mix of a pre-prod, it's good enough for for pre-production, and I don't have to change out my guitar for a bass every time I need to to get my bass tracks done, because uh, that inc um, that uh, decrease that increases the time and uh, effort to get things done. So uh, the whole idea here is to be efficient. So I have to ever tune, never have to tune. I, I'm playing the bass on my guitar and I'm just pitching it down 12, uh, well, uh, 12 tones to get an octave down and it sounds like a bass good enough for, for pre-production. So um, um, that's how I do that. And uh, for the drums I have uh, Superior Drummer with my own... It's based on some, some preset back in the day but I have changed it so much so I, it's almost my own by this time. Uh, really like it. Um, the program is about to fuck out because I'm using a screen recorder and it doesn't like it. That. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess that's uh, that's uh, the most I can uh, share about now. You heard the reject thing. I talked about the bass, the guitar. Uh, I can talk more about guitar later because I have some um, I have some upcoming projects regarding re guitars, which are. Not really necessary, but it's something that I want to do, and that is um, the look over here. I have, uh, I have some guitars there. The the white one, <laughs> the Iba the reverse headstock Ibanez RD over there. It's a Paul Gilbert model, and I, I'm going to install a Evertune on that one and, and use that as my main recording guitar for this album. I just felt like ah, I want to. Modify a guitar, use that one for the new album. But I also have this one as um, as a backup because uh, in, ca in case I need to, it's nice to have another one, both in the same tuning, all that shit. I can talk more about that. I can talk more about that in another video later. Uh, 